Hi, I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your styles at Cancer. Okay, so I'm just doing a little a snapshot of the weekly videos now because I am doing the monthly videos as well. I started that last month. I'll be putting up September's in next week, so I hope you're enjoying them. Okay, so let's have a look. Mar Planet Mars, which is the planet of action and um, passion and motivation which has been in your sign is going to transit out of your sign this week on the 28th so midweek and move into your solar second house okay so this is Mars's great energy to get motivated your second house is all about money and possessions uh, it's also about love and and how you how worthy you feel feel in the case of having love and money in your life so you want to get set in your mind you know what you want to attract what type of situations you want in your life if you're already in a relationship um, for instance then if there's changes you want to make then you want to just you know think through how do you want to proceed from this point? Now the key point here is is how you value yourself. So it's almost like what you think you deserve in life is what you get in life, okay? And that will go for money as well. Now with Mars in the solar second house, the thing that you do uh, you have to watch is that you don't want to get tied up or enticed into getting involved in get get rich quick schemes okay or or do anything on a gambling nature I mean it can work out but you want to be able to think things through Mars can really tempt you to make decisions or um, choices in life before you have time to sit down and sort of think them through and with you cancer a good thing for you to always do is to sleep on it okay so when you wake up and, and it's a it's a great like just a little phase for you to say when people try to pressure you into doing anything you can say oh that sounds like a good idea let me sleep on it and see how I feel about it tomorrow okay and all sorts of things happen when you when you you know sleep overnight and when you go to bed at night you can lie there and ask the universe or God or the angels or whoever you speak to as a higher energy um, to help Trans give you the information, make it transparent um, of what you need to do or anything that you need to know. And miraculously, it can happen. Okay, so um, if you haven't tried that, it's a good exercise for you, particularly cancer, because there's such a sensitive sign to do. Okay, so um, the moon is actually in your sign at the end of this week as well on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So that can always be an emotional time when the moon is in your sign. And uh, we have Venus sitting in your solar fourth house which is all to do with your home and domestic scenes. So some of you no doubt will be rearranging, beautifying and making your home look a bit like a home beautiful a magazine. Okay. Great to clean out um, and great to throw out or give away uh, and, you know, donate because as the Chinese philosophy goes of feng shui, you know, they say, and I really believe this too, you know, when we have piles of things sitting in corners that are not being used and gathering dust, it starts to block energy. And I have a cancer moon, so I'm very attuned to the cancer. And I don't know about you, but when I clean things out and declutter, it's almost like that physical act of decluttering helps to declutter my mind as well. So um, good time with Venus sitting there in your fourth house to do that. Also a great time to connect with family and build relationships and um, strengthen your relationships on that level. Okay, have a great week, Cancer. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.